Thank you for the opportunity to address you today. I appreciate the chance being given to me to share what is on my heart and also something the experience of many people, your neighbors living not far north of Australia. Right now, the 18th of November 2013, as I speak to you at this event in the city of Canberra, the land of West Papua is an extreme, sorry, the land of West Papua is an extreme, extremely threatened situation owing to the increase of troops of the TNI, which are increasing by being sent to West Papua since we ex escaped to Australia in 2006. As one of West Papuan activists, I wish to declare to you in the name of justice that I'm I'm a Swain guy representing the West Papuan refugee and on behalf of the people of West Papua make an open appeal to the international community and the Australia government based on Thought and justice rescue the West Papuan people from genocide, intimidation, terror, military government in West Papua. Why do I make this appeal? Because this being the reality of the West of the lives of West Papuan people under the Indonesian military system for the past 50 years since May 1963 and since the so-called act of free choice in 1969. When West Papua throughout military and political pressure was unjust, un unjustly integrated with Indonesia, West Papua has entered in its fifth, dec fifth decade of occupation by Indonesian military crimes again, humanity have been and continue to perpet, per, per, sorry, continue to perpetrate against the West Papuan people. An estimate minimum of 400,000 West Papuan have died since Indonesia took over West Papua in 1963. There have been systematic violence of the human rights of West Papuan at the hand of Indonesia regime, including extra just judicial killings, rape, torture, arbitrary, arbitrary arrest and detention. Violence of violence of the right of freedom of assembly and freedom of speech and denial of free access to NGOs, human rights groups, international observers and the media to freely carry out the work. I ask that is now time for you to listen to us and to help us. We want your help and compassion but we want your respect also. We have maintained our dignity in the fact, in the fact of operation, insult and preju prejudice. So many of our people have suffered, imprisoned, escaped and died. They will continue to suffer and die under the military regime of Indonesia. But we won't stop our struggle for justice and freedom. We look to God and we look to Australia, Australia people of goodwill to hear our cry. 
as I speak to you on behalf of the West Papuan refugees around the world and the inhabitants of West Papua. Thank you so much and God bless you.